In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azor, from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, son of Joachim, the king of Judah, and all the exile of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priest and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen, thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exile back from Babylon to this place. But now, listen to what I'm about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, war, pestilence against many land and mighty kingdom. But the prophet who prophesies peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when the prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Thereupon, the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it and said in the presence of all the people, Thus says the Lord, Even so, within two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all the nations, at that the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after the prophet Hananiah had broke the yoke from the neck of prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go tell Hananiah this. That says the Lord. By breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For that says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the neck of all these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all shall serve him, even the beast of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have great false confidence in these people. For this, says the Lord, I will despise you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from me the ways of falsehood and favor me with your law. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinance is my hope. Let those turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decree. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I mean that I be not put to shame. Sinners ways to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decree. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Hallelujah. 
One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in the boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked, and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. And they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women. And children. The gospel of the Lord. Great. My dear friends, a prophet, which all the baptized are prophets, because when you are baptized, the crown of your head is anointed with the oil of prison with accompanying words that go like just as Christ is priest, prophet, and priest, prophet, and king, so are you. In other words, by virtue of our baptism, we participate in the prophetic, kingly, and priestly ministry of Jesus. Who is a prophet? From the Hebrew, the prophet is supposed to be a spokesperson for God. So the, the prophet speaks for God. The, per, the prophet brings the people's concerns to God. But there is one thing. So how do we then distinguish between a false prophet and then an authentic prophet? The first reading of today helps to answer that question. In the story, we have two prophets presented to us, Hananiah and Jeremiah. The two of them call themselves prophets. But who is the more authentic prophet? Jeremiah leads us to that answer. He says, ordinarily, a prophet of God lambast people for their evil doing, telling them of evil consequences for their actions. But when a prophet prophesies that something good is going to happen to someone, 
The only way to know that that prophecy is authentic is for that prediction to come true. And so in the case of Hananiah, who is saying, oh, don't worry about Jeremiah and all that he's saying, and that you people who have gone, who are being bothered by Nebuchadnezzar and his people, you will be free. The yoke of Nebuchadnezzar will be lifted. In two years, all this problem being posed by, Je by Nebuchadnezzar will be no more. The yoke will be broken. You'll be free. You will not go into exile. And if, in fact, those who have already been taken away will return. Jeremiah says, Hananiah, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Then what happens? What happens is that when Jeremiah tells him, you are giving the people false hopes and that you will die because you have prophesied falsely, what happens is that Hananiah actually dies, thereby authenticating your, the, 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 prophets, the prophetic ministry of Jeremiah. What he says comes to pass. So my dear friends, Today that we celebrate St. Alphonsus, one who was bishop, doctor, and preached about, wrote about virtues, how to live the authentic Christian life, Holy Mother, the church, wants to remind us of our Christian vocation. We are called to be prophets. We are called to speak the truth. We are called to be spokespersons for God. We are called to bring people to an authentic worship of God. A worship, an authentic worship of God is defined by appropriate reverence, appropriate respect, appropriate obedience. That's what authentic Catholic Christianity is about. When we don't listen to authentic prophetic utterance, definitely know the difference. As, 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 as Jeremiah told Herod Hananiah, because you have prophesied falsely, you will die. When we don't listen to authentic prophetic utterance, we will die in our sins. Let us stand and pray. Let us pray. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that like Jesus, they may take time of prayer as the foundation of their ministry in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may walk in the way of the law God has written on every man's heart, keeping his ordinances and paying heed to his decrees. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring our small loaves and fishes to Jesus with confidence allowing his power to multiply our resources on behalf of those who are hunger for compassion and generosity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, lonely, or anxious, that the heart of Jesus may move with pity for them, and they may feel his healing touch upon their affliction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed ones, that every yoke of sin may be broken from their neck, and they may enjoy the perfect freedom of the heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, For all these two, we pray to the Lord. 
Say our prayer. Love and Savior, you fed the 5,000 men and many more women and children with five loaves of bread and two of fish. We beseech you in your kindness and compassion to feed us with your word, your word of life. You will live and reign forever.